We know that if we continue to use energy in the same way we are, in the near future we will run out of fossil fuels that are literally keeping us going on this planet. For many decades there have been scientists who have been working on various renewable energy projects. Majority of them have never seen the light of day for reasons unknown within the public domain. As the internet has become more accessible some of these ideas are being shared, they are multiple videos on YouTube that show people how to make free energy. The purpose of this video is to ask why have we as the masses not been had access to these types of free energies. Instead we are made to pay extortionate prices for energy that is not clean and will destroy our planet for our children. I came across an article about an engineer by the name of Sean Choi who has created the foldable, paper-thin battery that runs on dirty water and it astonishingly costs 5 cents to manufacture. The battery takes the design principles of origami and the battery is powered by microbial respiration. This essentially means a drop of bacteria-laden liquid will power the battery. In other words, it is a battery that runs on dirty water. Before it is folded up, one side of the paper battery is screen printed with a special carbon-based paint to create an anode. On the other side, a coating of nickel-based solution is applied to the paper to create an air-breathing cathode. After being folded, the battery only needs bacteria to begin producing power. Add a single drop of murky puddle water and the battery has everything it needs to start spitting out juice. The cell doesn't produce a whole lot of power, but it doesn't need to. Choi actually designed the system to be a power source for his paper-based biosensor a device that only needs a couple microwatts to function. The idea is that eventually, these cheap, dirty water-powered sensors could be used for disease control and prevention in third world countries with limited access to medicine. We have recently seen Acorn roll out an initiative that he called Lighting Up Africa. The aim of this program is to light up a million homes in Africa. Acorn has succeeded in doing this, but for me the 5 cent battery would be even cheaper to implement. I personally would suggest to give a million children in Africa these batteries for them to always keep their mobile phones powered up and connected to the internet which in turn connects them to the rest of the world and create opportunities. But I guess this one of those products that will never gain mass success, in a way that will benefit the masses. What do you think? Even though we have countries like the Latvia striving hard to meet and exceed the minimal target set on renewable energies I think not enough is not being done. It was recently announced the UK along with Netherlands, France, Luxembourg and Malta recently show that they will not meet the 2020 targets. The targets are briefly explained in this video. Are you worried about your future? And is climate change one of your concerns? How about we tackle all these problems at the same time? Yes, it's possible. That's why the European Commission has proposed new climate and energy targets up to 2030. By firstly cutting harmful greenhouse gas emissions by 40% below 1990 levels, with the ultimate goal of reducing them by at least 80% by 2050, by 18% since 1990, while our gross domestic product has grown by 45%. So, even if fighting global warming is a real challenge, it's an opportunity for our economy. Secondly, by favouring renewable energy and energy-efficient solutions, we also reduce our dependence on imported energy. And with this, our oil import bill, which is 1 billion euros per day. The EU is not alone in taking climate action. Many countries are on the same track, but Europe is clearly leading the way. From now until 2020, at least 20% of the EU budget will be spent on climate action. That's around 180 billion euros. So, tackling climate change means business. Good business. And it's everybody's business. 2030 goals for climate and energy. Europe is showing the way towards a safe and prosperous low-carbon future 
for our planet and our what is being done in order to achieve this. What do you think? Please comment below and do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.